Hello. Greg is on his way. He's late. I have gone cross-dressing Viking today. <laughs> it's a uh, Viborg. And it's men's shirt in Viking. It has a square. So I'm a cross-dressing Viking today. Who's here? Say hello, where you're from. And the temperature. It's dark, of course, in Gudvangen. Uh, we were hoping to have the Christmas tree lighting thing today. It turns out that's tomorrow. Or no, Sunday. Sunday, so we would have missed it anyway. But Greg and I will see if we can still walk around um, the street next time uh, with the light on and put him in front of it. With the lights on, I mean all the Christmas lights out, so it might be bright enough with that one and with another phone to see all the Christmas lights in uh, Gudvangen, the one street. <laughs> it won't light up the mountains, though. I will write uh, information. Uh, welcome. One day again, we'll have light. <laughs> oh, more, uh, He has two Instagrams. I don't know which one he's using more than the other, but I think he's eventually going to use at Wolf Slayer Forge. Slayer Forge on Instagram. And... Okay. Who's making Christmas presents? I have uh, just begun. <laughs> I'm working on Maria Hills. Uh, if you haven't seen her calendar, I have to find that. I have to find that. She has a Christmas calendar. We've been doing it since 2015, maybe 16. Uh, it's her calendar and her blog. Let's see. Master of uh, Noel Binding. Oops, scripture again. Master of Noel Binding, or lots of Noel Binding. Noel Binding, needle binding, Noel Binding. It's in Danish, but you can switch the language to English. Let's see. There. So, uh, there I am again. This page. Uh, Maria Lynn Heels Christmas. Calendar in all my name. Patterns. Uh, so, we're adding to that. Uh, there was one year, I think, we were one or two years where there were 24 patterns. But because there's not so many people making it, there are every Sunday, I think. But still, it's four patterns, but there's a whole crap load. You can go back through the old ones. So you can make Christmas stuff. Most of them are pretty quick. Um, this is what I'm working on. It's two different greens in Glona, which is from Hillesvog. It's a factory that's probably about an hour or two from here, but made with the same kind of sheep that we have this one is it's just the thickness so guess what it's going to be i love the green yeah I, i've been using so much of my crappy leftover yarn that the good stuff is starting to pile up and i'm thinking why in the hell am i not using it so what do you think it's going to be it it's a little bent <laughs> it could be happy it could be sad <laughs> what do you think it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Next time, Greg will get here sooner. <laughs> it's a pickle. You're right, Arlene Cross. I don't know what you sick ladies were thinking, but this is a pickle. <laughs> it's a Christmas pickle. Oh, I'm turning all kinds of red now. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> get any better does it <laughs> it's just it's a little creepy I don't know <laughs> it'll I'm, I'm hoping to do some sort of a Grinch hat kind of thing but I, I don't know if you can see it but I've started to spiral the colors so here's where that's my I have lazy man threads it's way too long 
So they're tangling. Anyway, this, as you can see, I changed colors. Just the first round, I changed color. Uh, but this is where the green changed. And then I stopped this one, the dark green. And I added, if I can find the end in there, I added the light green. So now I will do the light green until I get to the dark green, which I have. Then I will pick up the dark green and go around until there, and then the light green, and they'll spiral. Yeah, there's tutorials on that, if that doesn't make sense, on uh, my Instagram. But the idea is to maybe something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how happy the hat is. Christmas should be a festive occasion, even if there is a, a pandemic. <laughs> Let's see who's here. So Arlene's here from Manitoba. Hi, Charlotte. Heidi Lisa is here with Christmas emojis. I see that your brother and the other Heidi have gone oh, to. Have, oh, my kid came. Come to say hi they to went to Nina Cecilia. Come say. I made her be Viking, so she's also. Uh... Now, now come here to see Elmina Cecilia. They're gonna creep watch you. Your life. Who is Elmina? Elmina, my best friend. Elmina is your best friend, and who is Cecilia? My twin. Your twin. They're mm. planning to watch your whole live stream. They're, they're in um, they're back at home because uh, you, Cecilia and you are going to be only children this week. You are an only child with mommy and she is an only child with daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to separate twins a little bit so they don't have to share the parents. You smell like perfume. It's deodorant. I nothing but the best perfume here. <laughs> Does the deodorant smell good though? No, it smells like perfume. Okay, see if you can pronounce this place where Susan Youngman is from. You tried it last time. Do you remember? I hope you're enjoying yourself in Adita Hoda Hodux. <laughs> She's from Adirondacks, New York. Ducks. They're having rain. We have a little bit of drizzle, but not bad. Uh, Lily Isabella Kovacs is here. Hello. I recognize that name. Uh, she's making mom socks for Christmas. What are you going to do? Are you making anything for Christmas? Socks is a pretty good, that's a really good I'm gift when they're needle bound. Store bought Christmas presents. You're making store bought Christmas presents? Yes. Yeah. You made some money today. Yeah. She sold, you sold your old puzzles mm -hmm. to, um, I just made a table. don't do that to someone here. Uh, so you're going to, are you going to buy Christmas presents or candy? Candy. Let's buy candy. Uh, let's see, Susan Youngman. Yeah. There she said, she's also making socks. I think if I read that correctly. Yeah. Nell is here. Nell's from Finland. Do you know how to say hi in Finnish? No. Hi in Finnish. <laughs> Such a bad mom. No. Bernice Antoine is here. Hello. Uh, Drea is here. She says good morning with the sun. Uh, and she has a puppy and a nice warm jacket out for walks. Scorp Scorpionicus Liarn Scorpion Cus Clariano. I'm working on book binding today. Oh, I want to do that. Have you ever tried that? No. Making binding your own books. Oh, I want to do that. Uh, hoping to get some sketchbooks done for friends, kids. That's a really good idea. Do you have to have a whole kit, or can you just? I watched some YouTube videos on it, but I don't know if you need like special paper. And are you sewing them together, or do you have? I want more details. You sew them together. Yeah, you're sewing together. No, you have, have you done you, it? No, but I've seen a bunch of YouTubers do it. You sew them together. I think you can make those for Christmas presents. I could use a, a sketchbook. You could use some sketchbooks. I know. I think I know what she's doing. I can buy the, I can buy the material with the money. Yeah. Uh, so they're laughing. Beautiful green. Uh, Turun's here. Hello. <laughs> you know why they're laughing? Party in the gutter. <laughs> Somebody guessed a pumpkin, though. That was a lot nicer than what I was thinking. Because <laughs> I was saying this. <laughs> Do you know what this is? It's your Christmas present. <laughs> no. it's... Somebody thought it was a pickle. It looks like a pickle. It looks like a Grinch finger. <laughs> uh, do you want to read some? Now looking for Cecilia's and Amina's. Let's see. It's a pickle witch hat. <laughs> I like that. I think it might be. It'll be. It'll be. Hi, Amina. Hello. Did you find her? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Her name is. There's Lovely, lovely Twinner. Twinner. Yeah, that's your Hello. friend. Hello. Julie Miners is here. Hi, Amina. <laughs> Amina, Amina, can you tell Cecilia to uh, say hi? Almina, do you think this would be a good Christmas present for Alex and Cecilia? It's almost done. <laughs> they could they could make two and they could do <gasps> Yeah. It's evolved. 
<laughs> it's evolving. Oh, what did she, what the did important she thing is it's needle bound. <laughs> okay. Uh, she likes your brown hood, by the way. Yeah, me I, made her go, I, I made her go half-assed Viking. Not, not like Cecilia at all. You're so lucky to, you do that need to be at this school. Uh, damn, you do not look like Cecilia at all. Lucky you need, you do not need to be at school, and it's so boring. Alex, please send help. Why? <laughs> yeah, you. Ha how many days of school did you have this week? One. One day. How many days should you have had of school today? Five. Why did you? What happened the first two days? Stuck. Why? How did you get stuck in Gudvang on a Monday and Tuesday? Yeah, all the roads closed because we had a storm and we couldn't get over the mountain. So you got two extra days. Apparently, there was a storm, and then. I don't know, maybe I guess it might have been. There was like an eye of the storm and then it hit again. So the first part hit Monday and then uh, the roads were closed until two o'clock the next afternoon and then the other part hit. And then we were able to drive home Tuesday night and you went to school on Wednesday. And then why did you have, why did we come back on Wednesday night? What did we do yesterday? Thanksgiving. We had Thanksgiving. Is that a Norwegian thing? No, my stomach hurts still. <laughs> why does your stomach hurt? Too much food. Too much I food. I didn't even eat a whole plate. Is this the first Thanksgiving you've had now? I think yes. that you can remember anyway. We tried to do one when you were a baby, but it was a bit of a joke trying to pull off Thanksgiving in Norway because nobody has the day off. Nobody has the weekend off. Um, so if you're going to do a Thanksgiving, a big turkey dinner and everything, you're starting at about seven o'clock in the evening when you get up work at like five or six. So it's uh, then everybody has to work the next day. So you can't sit there and be in a food coma like today. There's a lot of food. <laughs> and uh, But because we're in a pandemic, fearless leader uh, Turil Hillant uh, and her husband, they have um, one of them is on the Guas project, the Good Mong and oh, Viking yeah, Valley one, today, but the other one has a I hotel was... and restaurant. Mom, they made us turkey. Mom, huh? Today I was watching TikTok and I found a video of Good Mong. You found a video of Good Mong on TikTok? Yeah, I saw some people, uh, uh, Norwegian Viking, uh, driving the Viking boat here. Were they? Did they look like um, Hollywood Vikings? Yeah, that's the beard struggle that was here. Oh uh, yeah, they yeah, mm -hmm. their TikTok. Yeah, they came and shot. I, I just wrote in the comments. The bearded are, are, are struggle. Are you in? Are you in good Vikings? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they were actually. I braided their hair. They came here and used us as a venue to film their uh, things, uh, their commercial products. They were selling bearded oils and bearded combs and things that are a little bit more modern so obviously they're allowed to uh, oh, Cecilia, oh you got a lot of chat help me we'll catch up. no <laughs> anyway but those Mom, are those are the like vikings where carl wanted to rip the clothes off of them because uh not because they were so pretty but because their viking clothes were so not wow. they were very hollywood mom that looks like a pick away go up against me. i will we'll, we'll, we'll read that far well we have to catch up we got other people to say I hi to see Cecilia. Turin says it's good that i smell like deodorant it you smells might, like perfume. you might want to have some. <laughs> no i'm just kidding uh, my um, deodorant smells good. Oh God! Um, it looks like <laughs> oof. It looks like a cucumber. <laughs> yeah, the thingy. Looks Susan like likes a cucumber the pronunciation. Than a pickle. <laughs> Help me! No, Mama looks like a pickle. <laughs> see, you wrote pickle wrong. Susan likes the way that you said Adirondacks. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> Julie Miners is making mittens for Christmas present. Pickle. Ooh, I'm getting to the pickles. No. <laughs> Everyone's having weather in Austria. Austin, are you leaving? Yeah, I'm leaving. Oh, but I'm reading their comments now. No, thanks. Okay, Cecilia says you have to help her. No. <laughs> Hi, Cecilia. Mom, that looks like a pickle. She says, "Good, Cecilia. I think this is gonna. You maybe you need one for Christmas." <laughs> it's sad. Happy. <laughs> Where is Greg? <laughs> <laughs> he is on his way. He wrote me about 40 minutes ago, so I'm assuming he's stuck behind a tractor. <laughs> Cecilia's, we will pay for this. Um, drama in the chat. <laughs> yeah, that's my my kid and like, yeah. But now Alex went away and my kids are going to get bored because they're supposed to be playing Among Us. Has anybody play Among Us? It's not very Viking. It's very space. I found out I'm no good at it. They, everybody thinks that it's me. <laughs> So somebody's making socks, mittens for Christmas presents. Um, I think I'm making hats. The blue hat that I posted, uh, that one ended up going to Carl because I watched the videos back and I realized that on Halloween I told Carl he could have it. But um, my in-laws or my ex-in-laws family uh, noticed the hats and said that they want some too. So I will be making hats like mad. 
the bookbinding, um, the tools are pretty simple. I'm following some tutorials from C. Lemon's channel for Coptic binding. Oh, cool. Curve needles work best for the stitching. I have those. Okay. I will give it a go. And then, um, so Corona, how is Corona going where you are? I will check here in a minute. Our numbers are getting a little better, but enough to where um, I don't want to drive back and forth too much. Let's see. Corona, Corona. It's going to be an interesting Christmas. Mm. Let's see. There. At the current moment, we have representing Norway. A total of 34, almost 35,000 people who have been infected, but 480 yesterday. That's that's pretty good. Uh, we did hit as much as 718 in one day, but we're it's starting to, the numbers are now, they used to be covering around 600, but they're starting to hover around 500. And sinking. Yes, my phone is completely damaged. Hmm. So that's uh, good, but if we look at the map of Norway, let's see. There's that big orange chunk here. This is where I actually live, this big red and orange. Um, so right now staying in this area is a good idea. And this part is down by Bergen and up here is, this is where we are, this white section. So there's no corona here, but yet. But fingers crossed, we don't want it. Um, but everything else is pretty much the same as last week as far as clothing, et cetera. Closings and things. Um, I think, yeah, Christmas is going to be tricky. No, nobody's going away for Christmas. Uh, I think my kids will be at their father's for Christmas this year, Cecilia, because there's nobody to play with in Grudvang in this <laughs> Christmas. Let's see. It does look like Benny, Bar Barney stomped on my phone. <laughs> Barney the dinosaur, the purple dinosaur stomped on my phone. I think you're right. It might have been. Very suspected, suspicious. Uh, all you have been, uh, Amina and Alex and Cecilia have been playing um, Among Us. That's good. Who died? Who is the suspect? Lyra made a hat. I saw that. I saw your hat. I was on for like two seconds yesterday before my battery ran out um, because I'm staying in the Viking house. It's colder in there at this time of year, which is fine when you're under 25 blankets, but my phone doesn't agree. So my battery runs out. It goes from 70 to zero really quickly uh, unless it's plugged in. Uh, so we're still having a little vampire schedule here where we're up in the evening and not in the day. Um, but I saw you made a hat, so good. You said it had a little point, I think, but it, you know what the point is? Good. The reason actually why I want to make a hat with the pickle top apparently, is because I need to force myself to not do flat top hats all the time. I have to think outside the box. So congratulations on making a hat. I think I see Greg. Yell at him. That's his headlight. <laughs> He's on his way. He's got a story prepared. Uh, well, no, no, I'm not allowed to say that it's prepared. Uh, but he has a story that he will tell you. I think this time it is Freya. Uh -huh, now I see you. <laughs> He'll be here real soon. That's why we put his stories at the end as well. Um, let's see. Cool, I'm binding. Andreas also wants to try doing to make paper. I have made paper, uh, but not since I was in school. It was something we did as a school project, but oh my God, it is kind of fun. And it makes such a, even if it's super thick paper, it's so it's so cool. Uh, and the more um, homely it looks, the better it is, I think, as far as presents go. Yenny, Yenny Erickson is making hats. I saw you had a lot of hats for sale, socks, mittens, and, and, and. Yeah, so I know what you're doing all Christmas and room yule. Uh, I saw you were selling hats on Etsy, which is good. Somebody was asking where to find hats. We have some in the shop. Um, it is possible to get them, but we'll have to take pictures and send them and all that other stuff. Uh Bernice's Corona is fine, but the humans are locked at home in France. I heard. Ah. No, we're still technically locked here. Nobody can come in and nobody can come out. 
Um, and if you do, you have to be in quarantine in a hotel for 10 days, I think, at your cost. So it's uh, not a good time to travel. Uh, Drea writes, uh, COVID-19 is worse here, but I am disappointed in stupid people not being cautious. Yeah, I agree. Oh, you lost your job a while ago. We have a lot of people laid off. Uh, um, but fortunately, um, Norway has a pretty healthy, uh, had a healthy economy going into this one because of all the oil. So we will get through it. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> like to go back to work when it's safe, but we'll need a new job. Yeah, a lot of us will. We're in the tourist industry. So you, I'll let you know how that's going. You can imagine when the, you have cruise ships and the cruise ships can't come. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, my cats are here too. Ah, you found my cat. You can bring him in. And you're wearing your beautiful Mario Skinser, the Norwegian sweater. Yeah, she's the cat's wedged in the door. It's okay. a he, my cat Godzilla. The monk. Yeah, we will burn the monk. It says Annie wants to know if we're going to burn the monk. Yenny Eriksson. Yeah, everybody wants to burn the monk now. It's a thing. She's from Sweden, so it's allowed. <laughs> no, he's not a monk. He's, I see he's wearing a Norwegian sweater. It's beautiful. You like it. Uh, it is the Marius sweater for those of you who knit uh, because it's got the X's and the O's on it. <laughs> Elmina, I know you have the urge to say a bad word. You're not going to do it. I will smack you. <laughs> no, I won't. Here he comes. You can tell them why my cats learned how to sit like that. Oh, that was uh, that was the first market they ever came to. Yep. You met my cats when they were... There's Greg. Hello. Notice <laughs> I braided him yesterday. <laughs> He's much better now. <laughs> hey, you. There's Godzilla. <laughs> well, the uh, first time I... Well, I got the cats in 2015. Yep. They were six weeks old. We weren't supposed to get them until they were eight weeks old. So that meant that I got the cats right before we went to the Goodvangen Mar Market. And I hadn't quite planned on how to deal with them, but we had to insist that they learn how to go on leashes. So they learned that. But also, if you wanted to get anywhere from one end of the market to the other where a cat would feel safe, you had to teach him to sit on your shoulder. Yep. So he's no longer um, a cat. He's a scarf. Oh, yes. And he's a purring scarf at this present moment in yeah, time. Yeah, that's Cecilia's cat. There it is. Zilla is my cat. <laughs> Godzilla, the ferocious Viking cat, capable of raising Tokyo. I don't know. He seems to like me. I might have to keep him. Sorry, Cecilia, your cat's staying here with Greg. <laughs> he came to me, by the way. I didn't pick him up. He came and jumped on me. Mm. He wanted cuddles. Oh, well, that's good. They need some cuddles. Let's see. We got uh, little Isabella writes, this is going to be a fun Christmas right now. Hungary has less time limit to get out on the street her boyfriend got the virus uh he's a special ed teacher and but no one cared for proper testing like the doctors oh i hope he's okay though yes. um i'm not too worried about getting it right now because i'm sure we'll be fine you are a high risk that's different though for me i'm not but um well i'm overweight so that doesn't help things but i'm more afraid of spreading it to you or <laughs> bringing it somewhere else i'm yes, really afraid i of have that. damaged lungs so uh this is why i'm in the high risk category mm. Yeah, you got pneumonia like less than a year before yep. this as well, too. Oh, yeah. Pneumonia and sepsis at the same time. Oh, yeah. Killed me. I was... Uh, you were in the hospital for a month, I think? Uh, I was in hospital itself for a week, but I was off from here for two months because I, yeah. I was released, but I lost so much muscle that I could barely walk. I was walking with a stick for about a month. I tore my vocal cords and my throat to pieces and yeah. couldn't speak properly for a month and a half. Yeah, and you're so, supposed to be guiding people. And I'm supposed to be guiding people, so that wasn't happening. And then even when I did start working again, I still had a very croaky voice, couldn't really raise it very high. And so I ended up working mostly in the shop, but I also couldn't walk properly. So I was using a, a, you stick, had a, cane, for, yeah. Yeah, a stick for about a month. But you had a Viking cane, not the Lucius Malfoy cane that I like. Yeah, I had the I had that cane while I was basically just getting better. Mm. But then I had the the Viking walking stick after I was back in the village proper. Yeah. Yeah. But you did quite well. Yes. 
Let's see. Uh, but I was in intensive care for four days mm. and uh, had four. I remember we made you a picture or something. Oh, yeah. And I had four. Uh, I had four cannulas into the veins and I had an artery tap at the same time. And then three different types of antibiotics trying to make me better. So when you do it, you do it properly? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Absolutely. No, don't know how fast illness is with you. No. I think I might have switched I think my, my temperature was 42 degrees centigrade at one point. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's um, baking. Yeah. Did you bake any brain cells? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, you still seem pretty good, though, at least now. Regina says Manchester, UK is still tier three lockdown, COVID swamp. swamp. Mm -hmm. So you, we had a friend that was going to come visit, but they couldn't. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, he's also, Bristol's also tier three, I think. What does tier three mean exactly? Basically, it's not much different to being in a full lockdown. Yeah? Uh, you can get the hell I do? food from restaurants, but only as a takeaway. Yeah. And that's about it. I think that's the only thing that's really majorly different from being in a full lockdown. Yeah, that's what we did. I took my kids to sushi and because uh, mm. I promised them, but it's yeah, yeah. You, you go and uh, you go away. So, exactly. So we had the whole room to ourselves for that one. Uh, United States is ridiculous, says Drea. People are acting stir crazy. Um, I am, and it's spreading like hot butter. Yeah, my mom said it's spreading like mad. No shutdowns or mandates being talked about. Yeah, I um. There's a little bit of a political turmoil behind that one. So I hope uh, everything gets sorted soon. And that's about all I'll say on that one. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to my mom from United States mm. and see how she's doing um, in Minnesota. As far as I know, they are not going anywhere, but she's a hospital employee as well and a high risk. So she's uh, mostly home and uh, instead playing nurse to my stepdad. Yannick or Annie Eriksson says, Corona here in Sweden is worse than in the spring because people can't follow simple rules apparently. Yeah, that's kind of what happened in Norway. Yep. Uh, the masks are on everywhere now. So when I went back home, uh, I had to do one day, one grocery shopping. I did mm -hmm. grocery shopping for the whole flipping week. Um, I looked like I was shopping for Thanksgiving. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I had to wear a mask on the way in the door, et cetera. And if you don't, they give you the look. I also noticed that the um, manager of the store uh, mm -hmm. was standing in the doorway so none of the school kids would come in with, they only let a certain amount of school kids in at a time after school. Uh, and if they didn't have a mask on, they didn't come in at all, but it was nice to see that they were manning the door uh, for that. Cecilia says, yes, I am a genius. <laughs> That's my kid. Of course, she's a genius. <laughs> so, uh, Lily writes, this is going to be a fun Christmas right now. Hungry has a time limit. Oh, yeah, we read that. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be an interesting Christmas. You know what, though? I got to say, I don't hate 2020, though. I should, but yeah. I'm not, there's some plus sides to it. There's a lot of downsides I don't like, but there's a lot I've of plus sides. I've had a lot of downsides this year, so Aww. I pretty much hate it. <laughs> I'll be your plus side, Greg. <laughs> <right? laughs> no, oh. we're, we're having some plus time, though. We're having some more. Oh, plus time, okay, now. It we was have more just, quality uh, time than we would in a normal Oh, yeah, work, that's right? true. That's true. It so was just the... uh, been a lot of family problems this year as well for us. Yeah. So uh, it's been a bit tricky. Yeah, but but they're getting through it unless you've had new updates since yesterday. No, no, she seems okay. That's Still good. don't know what the hell it was, but uh, yeah, hey ho. But it's not Corona. No, no, and it's not what originally we thought it was. So that's good as well. Yeah, that's well, that's good. Then I think she, I, as long as there, she's being checked on. This, yes, uh, mother had some issues, but she's going to be fine. So. I know she will anyway, because uh, you had all this other stuff ruled out. That would have been much worse. So that's good. Uh, Julie Miner said she just brought tickets to go home for Christmas. Uh, home being Oslo. Oh, cool. He'll be in the Oslo area. Uh, I will be there too. And due to Corona, I won't be visiting you, but I'll wave from Vespi at some point. I think I might be here for Christmas, though, without kids. Um, because that means they don't. Our other family members will be home as well. So they can visit them. Uh Lily's boyfriend said he is fine now, but they got a doctor who didn't even know how to check fever. Oh my god, Oy. that would freak That's, me out. Yeah, no, I need the doctors to know what they're doing. Uh, but they are working hard and they are probably stressed and they're probably rushing people into that. I remember when it first happened, they were accepting people to work in the uh health field, they were asking people to anybody with any experience whatsoever mm. what they were going to use them for in the health field. Exactly, I'm not sure, but they um were trying to um, get more people to help out. 
Could have been in the living room and be depressed, said uh, Elmina. Yep, nope, I'm glad you guys are having fun playing Among Us. I think the online gaming with the uh, addition of phone chat at the same time is, is quite a cool thing for the kids to be doing. Uh, I am way behind in chat. Doro says, hi, just stopping by quickly. Karshan, I will watch the stream later. Hope to be there regularly soon. We are doing Saturday next week, though, before I forget, because yes. I'm going to have to be home between Monday and Friday. Yeah. And we're going to see if we can walk through the... That's the plan. Walk that through the Christmas lights. the plan. Yes. Yeah, I think I think we can do it. I just have to switch my account over to a, somebody else's phone. Scary. <laughs> and it's a hoo Uh They like the cat. That is a very nice sweater. I knew they were going to like your sweater. I saw that you had that on there. Where did that go? Where did I see that? Mm. I went down the wrong way. Oh, there. Sign language. Uh, Drea, Drea says you could do um, sign language tours. Sign language tours? Yeah, if you have corona or you can't talk oh, and everything. You yeah. just, you know, so you just I need so you... to learn sign language. <laughs> okay, that's not going <laughs> to And then you got to learn sign language in English and Norwegian. Oh, God. Is there a difference? <laughs> I know. Be. No, it probably is. And the cat is a scarf. Uh, Jan Eriksson loves the Lusikofta. The Thank Swedish you. word for that, yeah. Uh, Drea likes your sweater. Beautiful cat. So Cecilia, because it's her cat. <laughs> the cat chooses the wizard. <laughs> No well, what? the cat has chosen. My cat, sorry, Cecilia. sorry, Cecilia, the cat has chosen, Greg. It doesn't even go to me. <laughs> it's probably because I'm a cross-dressing Viking today. I told everyone <laughs> I'm wearing the V-Borg shirt. Fair enough. Which is not built for boobs or American <laughs> Polish boobs. Polish American boobs in a Scandinavian country. It's not working out for me there. <laughs> uh, Jenny Erickson had pneumonia 10 minutes ago, lost or 10 minutes ago, 10 years ago. <laughs> Lost 12 kilos. Her lungs still aren't right. Oh, no, I had pneumonia once. It took a long time to get past, but um, wow. But it does that. It carries that long. As, uh, uh, a week of hospitalization, right, Strea? She will be in debt for 40 years here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, insurance and I don't know it, what it covers and what it doesn't. And sometimes it's good to be in Norway. Absolutely. Uh, you pay through the nose on taxes, but healthcare is free. Unless you're, I think you have like a certain dividends to pay on yeah, medicine or something, absolutely. but uh, if it's, yeah, which is a good thing that, uh, so a doctor's visit would cost you like 20 bucks. Approximately. About $20, yeah. 20 to $30. And the only thing is your appointment, you will show up on time for your appointment. You may be waiting an hour and a half, Yeah, but it won't be more than that, no matter what your incident is. So that's good to know. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. a lot of the time you can see them the same day. Yeah, 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 yeah. almost course, all the time. In, uh, in England, is not actually that common. <laughs> no, not in Norway either. So I have a doctor's appointment on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be doing it via mm -hmm. chat, though. So that'll mm -hmm. be interesting. But that's Absolutely. just, they're just going to, it's uh, nothing nothing bad. It's just to see how I'm doing with my OCD. So I like that they can do that on the phone. Yes, I have OCD. Um, that's why I'm really good at writing patterns <laughs> 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 and needle finding. Uh, Bernice says her biggest fear is to catch the virus and spread it to my parents who are old. Yes, I would be too. And then she wouldn't be able to join for Christmas. Exactly. A lot of the same issue going here. People being afraid of that. Hugs to you, Greg. Um, <laughs> let's see. Life change in 2020 would happen with or without COVID, but I can't be too hateful. No, uh, it's it's been a really weird year, but I think the quality time has changed. I mean, you really mm. know. Yes. When you need, yeah, if you're in an area, when you need support anyway, then. Mm -hmm. There's a reason I come to Grudvang and I had a lot of support here. You're one of my support fans. <laughs> and we support Greg too. We're doing a lot of movies. Oh, yeah. Turo made a Christmas calendar I've for seen... us. When, uh, when's that start? The first. And every day. And, and the thing is, wow. she was, she took our, I brought all my DVDs from home. Like there's a gazillion of them. And you brought some. Mm -hmm. And she took one of the boxes and she was making a random uh, Christmas candle or calendar for us or an advent calendar. So every day we have to pick one of two of the DVDs in the bag. But I hung it up today. Those are definitely not just DVDs in the bag. <laughs> I think there might be candy or something in okay. there too. <laughs> so that will be fun. So in Norway, uh, they have the advent calendar tradition. I know Sweden does too. In the United States, some do, some don't. We used to have like a little, um, my mom made this uh, tree out of felt. Uh, that is a flat thing. And in there's 24 pockets. And every day you take another, you open a pocket and there's a little felt decoration and you put it on the tree. Mm. So when you get to the end, but Norway, they take it pretty flippant seriously. They'd mm -hmm. have candy for every single day. Uh, or they will be toys. I think one year I did Legos with my kids. But mm -hmm. I decided to buy a, a big Lego pack and give them a new brick, a new yes. brick every day. 
uh, they're too old for that now, so they <laughs> I have to buy them chocolate. Did your do you guys do that in England? We have the chocolate advent calendars, which you buy in the supermarket, which cost pretty much nothing. Yeah. Um, but we do have. I know that we had in school uh, one of the fabric ones, and they put in chocolates, and then every day someone in the class who had been doing good things was got. To yeah. open one of the doors. Oh. And that's how, or possibly two, if it was like, because obviously we're not in school the whole of December and the whole Advent. So mm -hmm. you got to open, two people got to open on the Monday because you weren't in on the Sunday, and two people got to open Friday for the same reason. My kids would do that with Peppercock Kid. They'd ah. make a bunch of Peppercock and they'd hang it up. And uh, Absolutely. That was kind of cool. Absolutely. And if they do your name or something on that day, you got mm -hmm. to take the pepper cocker home and eat it. And the poor kid with the 24th had the dustiest pepper cocker. <laughs> uh, so do you know anything about Viking Yule? Y or J-O-L? Yeah, Yule. Yule, a bloop, or Yule. I know that it was, I, I only know bits and pieces of it. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to claim to know masses amounts of this. No, but we but could always uh, shove Greg or um, <laughs> Carl in front of the camera sometime before Christmas yeah, too and go into more true. detail. This is very true. But what do you know? I know that it was partly to uh, welcome in the new year, basically uh, bidding farewell to the old and bringing in the new. Yeah. And for that purpose, you did some sort of sacrifice to the gods to bless for the land and so on and so forth. <laughs> Never said it was an animal sacrifice. He didn't like that what, idea. No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. He's getting he's Okay, getting we, won't, we won't sacrifice <laughs> Cecilia's cat to the gods for Christmas. No, he's quite happy on me. <laughs> oh, I you've just... angered him. You've really pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll protect you. Ah, don't strangle me, though. <laughs> so they have, uh, also in Norway, they have the um, Eula Trea. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, the Christmas... You're being straight. <laughs> Thank you. You <laughs> you let today fest or the Christmas tree party, but that can actually be after Christmas too. Yes, and in January, can. I'm surprised. And then uh, I'm not exactly sure what that entails, other than dancing around the Christmas tree, having a party mm. with raffles in the school, etc. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit I more really gift giving well. and things too. But that that I can actually take care. That can actually be in January though. Mm -hmm. That that was impressive. Uh, you guys should do like a sexing Viking calendar. I keep telling Runa he's gonna do that. <laughs> And um, the CEO would definitely do it, just so you know. But I, <laughs> then, then we asked. Carl, I won't. <laughs> we asked Carl, "Would you do the sexy Viking calendar?" <laughs> the look on his face was somewhat akin to the look on his face when somebody accused him of being Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> So um, it's 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 a great idea, but I, if, as soon as I get them to agree, we'll do the sexy Viking calendar. We could do burn the monk for the twenty fourth in January, December. We could burn the monk. It'd be like a grand finale to the. Oh yeah, that sounds brilliant. <laughs> uh, put me on the fire. Oh, yeah. I've got plans. I've got plans. More to give ideas. This we will. <laughs> we could we could be rich. <laughs> uh, <why not? laughs> <laughs> oh dear 22 Cecilia <laughs> how many minutes are left oh if it's 22 minutes yet then we better get you to start telling a story soon no no I'm, I'm, I'm just telling Cecilia, Cecilia asked mm. a question that's okay if I keep going on about Corona well, I'll get depressed but I will read through real quick and see if there's something uh... but it's it's good anyway that we're all together that's why we're going to still do this even though technically we're not in quarantine it started out as mm -hmm. quarantine Nile mining but uh, yep. the idea is to, to sit and hang out together a little bit so we're not all alone uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep coming as a cross-dressing Viking <laughs> with boobs. Uh, and I'll just turn up uh, in whatever I'm wearing mm -hmm. on the day. <laughs> uh, Charlotte says she loves the oh, so, no, yeah, um, Charlotte, she loves your profile picture. Says, so um, um, yeah, yeah, we'll read it in there. She likes your profile picture, Charlotte. I like her profile picture too. And uh, Turin says you're the emotional support monk. <laughs> <laughs> is he, he so if we burn him that's emotionally supporting us too i like that 
I might be emotionally supportive, but I don't really want to sacrifice myself completely. For but the you are supporting. Course. You're coming and helping me on YouTube when other people have to work. So I'm really happy. About yeah, but if that. you're getting, but if you're burning me, then that that kind of no, I can't. I can't burn you. I can't burn you. Otherwise, I won't get you back the next week. I'll have to think of some other pointy objects <laughs> I can use. <laughs> now we torture. I like torture. I you know what, though? It's, no, no, no. You're staying with me. You're making turkey leftovers today. Oh, how did you like Thanksgiving? Your first Thanksgiving. It was very good. Very good. Thanksgiving in Norway, which, of course, Norway yes. doesn't have Thanksgiving. That's an American thing. But... Yep. Well, there and was you... lots of us having our first Thanksgiving. It was yesterday. everybody, but even my kid was having yep. our first Thanksgiving because we've never been in the United States for it. Well, but you had to do half the cooking. Mm -hmm. I did. Tuil and Ulav made the turkey and they ate some stuff. But you, what did you make, though? Because they asked, what, to, what do you have for Thanksgiving? And I said, the big thing is turkey and whatever else. I made, uh, made, I brought carrots and swede. As uh, sweet as the, cab the cabbage root or the yeah. turnip. Uh, I think that's turnip, a lot of names. Uh, yeah, it has yeah. a lot of names. I think um, we call it swede too in the yeah. United States. Yeah. Um, but brought that, roasted parsnips, oh, roast potatoes, mm. uh, stuffing, sage and onion stuffing. That was really good. Sausage meat stuffing. Mm -hmm. And oh, what else did I make? Um, pie, pie, apple pie, yeah, and pigs in blanket. <gasps> pigs in a blanket. That was the thing. I had oh, pigs in a blanket. For I didn't even think about mm. it until I saw it. I like I see these little sausages with bacon rolled around it, and I said, "Is that pigs in a blanket?" And he said, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> "So yeah, so pigs in a blanket. That is, we actually you can explain it better because that." Uh, it's sausages wrapped it's in bacon. It's sausage, yeah. But why do they call it pigs in a blanket? Is it because it's ham or? I would guess it's because the bacon. technically both of it is from pigs. So it's pigs wrapped in a blanket. There you go. They're really good. That's one of the better things we brought back from England to the United States. <laughs> uh, and the turkey was awesome. But the apple pie, I had to do apple pie because finding pumpkin or pumpkin pie filling in Norway is damn near impossible. Uh, you can find jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, but that's not what you should make uh, pie with. That's Couldn't even find them when I was looking for it. No, nope, there's a few of them around at Halloween, but they didn't over-order this year, shall we say, no. due to Corona. So, uh, But apple pie, he's like, can I make apple pie instead? And, oh, yeah, I love <laughs> apple pie. I'm from Minnesota. We have lots of apples. Uh, let's see. With a symbolic sum for health care here, mom was in it. Oh, that's right. Her mom was in intensive care in Sweden, oh, yeah. and this cost about 400 Swedish kroner. Yeah, so Sweden's got the same sort of healthcare system yeah. as uh, Norway does, and you can see four hundred kroner for, or which is about forty dollars anyway. And then she was in intensive care and for five days, everything, and it's only four hundred kroner. That is, but we pay through the nose with taxes, and so do they. Mm -hmm. Movies recommendation. Movies. What are we watching today, Greg? Today we're watching Zulu, which is very the classic Viking. version with uh, Michael Caine. And we're also probably going to watch Four Feathers as well, which mm. is uh, Heath, Heath Ledger, Ledger remake of a film from many years ago. But the remake in this particular case is one of those where it actually seems to be better than the original. So yeah, going with the remake. Well, Carl picked Zulu of the two, so we're starting with mm -hmm. that one. And then Absolutely. I don't know if he turns into a gaming geek after that or if he hangs out for Four Feathers, but I want to see Four Feathers. Four Feathers, I think, is a film that he'd enjoy as well, actually. I think so. It depends. I think he's still in a food coma from yesterday. He wasn't. Uh, yeah, everywhere all <laughs> in a food coma. I think that's the one time we actually managed to go to bed before three <laughs> this week. Uh, Ber Bernice has a beer advent calendar. I'm that kind of person. They have one in the store next to us. I think for four, uh, a thousand kroner, you can buy oh, wow. 24 different kinds of beer. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's zip through real quick. Uh, oh, there's a lot of people saying they'd be willing to buy a, psyching, a sexy Viking calendar with this sexy Viking holding null binding stuff. I'll be that one. I can be sexy. I'm a trans dressing Viking today, so I can do that. <laughs> Look at the beautiful braid. Mm. Uh, That's as much as you get. <laughs> the Vikini could make an appearance on the calendar. Oh my God, they've got plans here. You have to read through this after, Craig. <laughs> Uh, Jenny says her husband goes on and on about pigs in a blanket, so you did a good <laughs> move there. Uh, oh, Julia's making tater tot hot dish for dinner tonight. Oh my god, that is so Minnesotan, and, and I'll explain it in a minute, but I miss tater tot hot dish. <laughs> so tater tots are little, like, they're potatoes. They're mm -hmm. almost like, um, I don't know, they're rice potatoes, and then you okay. form these little little logs, little mm -hmm. ball. They're not a ball, but like a log, mm -hmm. and then you fry them. Mm -hmm. But these are already done and frozen. Okay. So anytime you make a hot dish, which is basically everything left over in your refrigerator, throw it in a pot, add cream of mushroom soup, mm -hmm. and top it with the 
those tater tots okay. and then bake it in the oven. It is so good. So you have to look up what she wrote in there. Look, if you find it in there, look up tater tot hot dish. Um, but yeah, if you, anything you put in a dish with cream of mushroom soup is a Minnesota hot dish. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So anyway, um, oh, they're doing all kinds of, yeah, write your favorite movie in there because we need quite a bit of it. This is a long pandemic. Yes. And in definitely. the meantime, mm -hmm. I see you have a book in your hand. <laughs> Do you want to show them the book? If you I can show you it? the book. This is the book I would recommend. I know that many people recommend and have recommended to me the Neil Gaiman Norse myths book. This is the book I would recommend to you. And I just mm -hmm. noticed that it's for some reason mirrored. It's, you know what? It's mirrored, um, first, but it's not for them. When you watch it back, you'll see. Oh, OK. So that's fine. So first. long as it's only mirror, mirrored for yeah, us. So, then it's so Kevin Crossley Holland. North myth, Norse myths and even Neil Gaiman says that he, this chap is the master Ooh. so this is the one I recommend thoroughly if mm -hmm. you want to learn anything about the myths and it covers almost all of the stories of the myths and this is the most up-to-date version of it he's done several different versions yeah um but every time he's done a new one he's added more to it and this is the most complete one that I have come across so far. So it's a really, really good book. So I uh, recommend it. Uh, there's mentioned Neil Gaiman, but the thing is, Neil Gaiman, is he purely, he's not purely fantasy. No, no, no. Uh, he's good. He's good. He's but... very, very good. Yeah. What I would say with the Neil Gaiman book, and it's not a criticism to no. him as well, because I think he does blimming good he's work. An excellent author. The only thing I would say is that he doesn't cover in his version, he doesn't cover all of the slightly lesser well-known stories. Whereas this guy covers pretty much all of the stories, even some of the less known yeah. ones. But also, um, like Neil Gaiman, he tells it in a modern telling in regards to it's not written in old English or anything like that, but it is maybe somewhat less plot and story orientated. So when it's talking about the characters, it's not necessarily calling them by name all the time. It's actually copying yeah. a little bit from the original Edda, calling Loki the sly one and Odin the war one and so on and so forth. So it's it's a really good book. Yeah, um, that one I want to read. Um, and I just I do highly yeah, recommend. Neil Gaiman one too. I do like the Neil Gaiman one. I'm not knocking it at all. No, but if you're going for history purposes, but if you're going for the more yeah. rounded, then this is the more rounded book. I would yeah. say. Also, if you look at the Neil Gaiman one, the print inside it is actually quite large, even though the book is about the same thickness. Do we have it? The print there? is no, uh, it's in the store. No, I think we have it in Norwegian in here actually yeah we might i just yep I'm i see sure it right in the middle yeah of the red. there it is yeah, yeah we'll get it one moment no problems Oops, Oi. it's okay i caught it on my foot uh, <laughs> you know what it's just no this is different ones by neil Gaiman though uh i know ellen gave us one the other day church scored book and never wear um there's this one what do you think of this one while we're at it well that one's quite a good one uh i'm just gonna flick through the Yes, this one is, this is another very good one. This one goes into some other slightly non-Norwegian uh, or Norse myths, but maybe a few modern folk tales as well. So I do, I do recommend this one as well. Mm -hmm. It is also a beautifully, beautiful looking book, but this is lovely. This is a great book. We also have this one. Now, this big book here in my hand is actually by the same author as this one. So these are the same authors, but this one in my right hand, this is more, I'd say it's more children book version because it's actually got illustrations on the inside, as you can see here. Oh, cool. But it actually tells the stories much like the Edda does, the original Edda, mm. but with a little bit or actually a lot more simplistic language, much more simplistic. But some of the illustrations you get in it as well for kids is incredible. Oh, look at that. You've got Yggdrasil here, for example. Really good book. Highly recommend this one as well. Um, actually, there's very few I wouldn't highly recommend. Uh, but, uh, but your favourite one is My favourite of all drawings? is this one. This is my absolute all-time favourite. 
And as I say, in regards to the print, for anyone who has read the Neil Gaiman one, you can see how much smaller the print is in this one. And yet the thickness of it is not that much different to Neil Gaiman's. Yeah, there was one who mentioned that the art on that book is wonderful. That's what I was showing the picture. Oh, yeah, there. absolutely. The cover the is art beautiful, on right, this is Bernice, yeah. Really, really beautiful as well. Hmm. But yes, I highly recommend this. Sorry to bore you with books. No, talk, no, that but, no, uh, I actually asked that question. That's why I, that's why I threw all the books at you. But your favorite is that one anyway. And yes, yeah, because there was the one thing I had to mention too is Neil Gaiman was supposed to be really, really good, but there might be I I have no things. problem with the Neil Gaiman. I haven't even found anything particularly it inaccurate. In, in, in depth, it. I think is maybe it's what the just it's was. not in depth yeah. to the same degree as this one. This one covers yeah stories that neil gaiman does in a couple of pages this guy will do in 10 or 15 yeah. and it's smaller writing so yeah. it's it's just more detailed and goes in like i say it goes into some of the more uh shall we say unknown stories as well Ooh, even better well then we got stuff for you to do at least until we burn the monk at the end of the year for the christmas calendar <laughs> next year but you got to start telling us your story now Okay. You got time. If you go over, you go over, but tell your story now. I want so, to, I've been waiting. <laughs> the story I have today, it actually is not one of my longer ones, so it works oh, out perfect. quite well to start it a bit later. Um, but today is the tale of Freya and the Brissings necklace. Mm -hmm. And this is a tale where, as many do, actually involves Loki. I think all the tales involve him to some degree or another, yeah. but maybe to a slightly lesser extent. And this actually starts off with Freya, who one day decides to visit the land of the dwarves, mainly because she actually likes to try and find nice, pretty jewellery, things like this. And they, uh, she goes down to the dwarves and she comes across some who are forging or who have just forged a very incredible, pretty necklace. Mm. And that is uh, named the Brissings necklace. And she asks the dwarves if she can have this necklace. And they basically say, no, we don't want to sell this. This is one we're keeping. And she says, I will pay you anything. I'll pay you silver, I'll pay you gold. And the, go the dwarves say, we have plenty of these. We don't need to have more silver and gold. What's the point in this? Mm -hmm. And she says, please name your price. I will pay you anything. And the dwarves, they start talking and they come back and, you, and they say to her, anything? Well, our price is this. You must satisfy us one day, all of us one day. I like it. And we all own the necklace in equal shares. So you have to satisfy each of us for however many days there are of the dwarves. So five days. And she agrees to this because she is so desperately wanting this necklace. And so she lies with each dwarf for five days. Unbeknown to her, however, she had been followed out of Asgard by the sly one himself, Loki. And when he sees what she is doing, he cannot wait to hurry back to Asgard and tell on her to Odin. He is very much at this point a vengeful person and he wants to upset things as much as possible. So he runs back to Odin and he says, oh, uh, you'll never guess what's been going on in the Nine Worlds. And Odin starts ranting at Loki because he's upset with Loki at this point as well. And he is ranting at Loki until Loki says, have you not been sitting in your high chair looking at the nine worlds? Have you not seen what Freya has been up to? And Odin gets quiet and starts to think, hmm. Maybe I should listen to Loki this once. So he lets Loki explain. And as Loki explains what he has witnessed, he gets more and more and more angry. And when Loki finishes his tale, 
he says to Loki in his most cold, icy voice, has she returned yet? <laughs> Loki says, yes, yes, she's back. Right, says Odin. I want you to go into her hall and take her necklace and bring it to me. Loki says, well, how am I going to do this? You know how tight she keeps the doors locked to her hall. Odin says, I don't care how. You can do it. So do it. Loki does as he's told. He goes in and he sneaks in while Freya is asleep. And some versions of the myths I've heard have uh, put Loki in a slightly worse light than normal. Yeah. Because not only does he manage to sneak the necklace off of her neck while she's sleeping, he then takes the covers off and just leaves them off of her to bear her completely uh, birthday suit form on the bed, shall we say. <laughs> Sexy Vikings! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so he then returns to Odin and he gives her the necklace. Anyway, next day, Freya wakes, realises her necklace is gone, and as pretty much all gods do, she goes, Loki! <laughs> so she goes running to Odin, and she does what she often does when she goes to Odin. She starts crying because she wants Odin's sympathy and wants to give, get him to give her necklace back from Loki. Unfortunately, she doesn't realise that it was Odin who ordered it, and he says to her, darling Freya, what seems to be the matter? And so she explains and he goes, hang on a minute. How did you come by such a necklace? Surely the dwarves would not wish to part for this. Not with anything that any of us may possess. So how did you get it? And he keeps prying until eventually she has to admit what she's done. And he says, hmm, yes, I see. Well, I tell you now, it was not Loki who has your necklace. It is me. She gets really angry and she says, well, give it back to me. Now, Freya, you have dishonoured us. You have caused great hardships for the gods, great absolute tragedy for our name. So you will never see this necklace again. <sighs> she says, no, I will have that necklace. I have managed to earn it. I paid for it. Give it back to me. I will do anything. So here she goes again. She promises to do anything. And Odin he tells her that she may have it back, but only if rather than just being the goddess of love and beauty as she had been before, he now wants her to turn people against people. Oh, that sounds And funny. this is where she gets her second aspect, the aspect of the warmongering goddess as well, because she has to go down to Midgard and set kings against one another. I like it. Sorry. <laughs> and so this is the story of the Brissings necklace. Thank you very much. A little much. bit of needful things going on there. I would totally plot people against each other. I think that would be, I kind of do that already, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the story. Do we have any suggestions for stories next week for Greg, by the way? And uh, while they are thinking, mm -hmm. because, well, you could actually suggest different kinds of stories too that you could tell because you've got a whole content in there at tables. But... I, uh, I just, I over cinched my knot here. I will fix it just to say there. Okay. Panic attack is done. <laughs> so this is what you missed is that um, I'm making something uh, to go on uh, Maria Hill's advent calendar. It's a pattern. They'll get a pattern oh, for okay. it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll be happy to know that throughout the episode, it has grown. <laughs> it's bigger now. <laughs> What do you think it is, Greg? <laughs> do you really want me to say what I think it is? Because. Yeah. They've already guessed. <laughs> No, I think I think I won't uh, make any guesses at this moment in time. I don't know how many people are going to want to make this, but the pattern will be available. <laughs> of Rhea Lynn Hill's page, which I listed way up. For... <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody thought it was a pickle, but it's look. <laughs> I could do this and no. <laughs> It's the Grinch. <laughs> it is the, well, the Grinch was the thing. I, <laughs> it could be happy. <laughs> it could be sad. <laughs> it's a thin pickle oh, rice, yeah. Bernice. It's an okra. No, no I, the idea, I, if you can see, it's starting to spiral, though. Here's where my start is. It doesn't look pretty. And I'm also doing a uh, York F2. But it's starting to spiral now. How well you can see it. I might, if it gets, hopefully this is so loose that I can felt it a little bit and <laughs> it'll stiffen things up a bit. <laughs> you and your bloody innuendos. <laughs> but the idea is that it'll be somewhat of a Grinchy kind of hat. So you'll just have to wait. Um, <laughs> is it creeping you out, Greg? I'm telling you, <laughs> this is sexy. Is it going to be a hat, is it? It's going to be a hat. Okay. But please, a, uh, please don't take it badly if I say that's a hat I'm never going to wear. Oh, it depends where you wear this hat. <laughs> Still not going to wear it. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to love you and we're going to leave you. <laughs> Next week I will have a little more progress on this and we'll see how disturbed he is. Let's go show this to Carl. I might not be here <laughs> next week. <laughs> Uh, oh, they had I made a nipple on the top. She wrote, uh, that's just from decreasing too fast or too slow. If you start at the top and you don't increase fast enough, it will go pointed. If you are starting at the bottom and you decrease too slowly, it'll also go. Uh, so this one is, for a little hint, I'm actually only increasing every 10th stitch. So I'll do 10 and then I'll increase. Now it's starting to increase a little bit more, but that's because by the time I get to the end of one color, you can see there's two colors there then I'll increase, but eventually every every 10th stitch, so it increases very slowly. And if I want it to go suddenly flat, then I'll have to increase quite a bit. So if I want it to be just sitting like that, then I'll have to increase massively. So there's your little uh, needle binding tip for today. Turin says we're great. <laughs> just so you know, somebody's <laughs> encouraging my behavior. <laughs> Video Carl's reaction. <laughs> you know, it is green, he might wear it. <laughs> Okay, not there no. <laughs> <laughs> you worry me sometimes <laughs> there you go happy uh next yeah happy, happy end of uh, november happy thanksgiving to those who had thanksgiving yesterday and hopefully uh, we were going to wear christmas cats uh, hats christmas cats Chris, christmas cats that'd be oh fun. yes i we got can... out of christmas hats no yes. you are wearing a christmas hat i did forget it in the car today <laughs> But tomorrow, I think we have to wear uh, very historically inaccurate Christmas hacks, uh, hats when it comes to uh, Vikings uh, and walk around to hopefully uh, film something outside with the lights. Tomorrow? No, uh, not tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Saturday next week. I mean, next uh, week. I was, Saturday I was next thinking, week. Tomorrow? Saturday. What are we doing tomorrow? <laughs> Saturday. It's, <laughs> it's the, this has powers. It's the, <laughs> Okay, so we're going to love you and leave you because we're over time. Go to bed, Cecilia and Elmina and Alex. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>